vegetables. Anything that is in a rooted form, cabbage, salmon, ginseng, those are things that we can put into our body for our initiative. So if we look at that, we need to have that proper nerve supply to the area to allow it to work properly, but your rooted vegetables are very um, uh, good as far as certain minerals that are needed in your body. If you do, for instance, carrots or radishes, any things that are found in the root form have certain minerals in them that help in the, the brain's ability to get proper nerve supply and it affects your energy. It affects your blood sugar. Now if we look at a little plastic or a little model of a rubber band, if you have pressure on a nerve shutting off the nerve supply to this to an area of the spine or area of the body. For instance, if we have the spine here and these nerves come out along the nerve network and the spine is shifted or out of alignment, this misalignment or subluxation, that word subluxation means a lowered energy state. Sub is less than, lux is light or energy, and ation is a condition. So that is a problem that chiropractors take care of. So a subluxation, that misalignment, can affect the nerves that go to these different organ systems. So let's just say we had this misalignment in this part of the spine. We sit in a slump position all the time. If we're sitting in a slump position, are we going to have a lot of initiative anyway? No, we actually are more lethargic. So if we start to change our physical posture, we start to open these nerve spaces up. We start to eat certain things in the body, the root vegetables, the ginseng, uh, get some of the nutrients from your cold water fish. It will allow the body to work like it's supposed to. But if this nerve is being shut down, if we just massage it or exercise it or try and ch um, change the chemical structure by our diet and we have decreased nerve supply, it's never going to heal properly. So in your eight basic energies, you've got to have good mental, good physical, and good initiative. But one of the things that reduces your initiative is blocked energy. So you've got to have all these nerve holes wide open so the spine is working properly. So we as chiropractors take pressure off of those nerves to allow your body to heal. We want you to have more initiative. We want you to have the power to take action, have more of a positive mind and a healthy body. So it's very important is the third basic energy, that initiative, those top three, physical, mental, and initiative, will allow you to actually um, become stronger and take the, uh, the processes every day to become healthier. We have a uh, focus in our office. If you can master your day, you can master your week. If you master your week, you can master your life. So start to put some of these foods back into just, you could take some of these uh, nutrients and just say, okay, Monday I'm going to eat some of the mental foods. Tuesday I'm going to eat some of the foods for my physical. Wednesday more initiative. You could supplement some of these things on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you get to your preventative, which is number four. That is the power of your immune response. The power to fight off things from the inside out. You know, there are more bacteria in your body than we could shake a stick at. There are more s cells and viruses in your body and funguses and all those things, but your body staying in check is what's important. Your nervous system controls the immune system, but the nutrients that you put in your body can set up an environment for it to become sick or become healthy. If you eat a lot of sugar, you set up an environment. Bacteria love sugar, so you're going to get sick. You're going to just, it's like um, ants all over a piece of candy. Just imagine that, the bacteria just going, and they get drawn to that area. Where do all those ants come from? They, I mean, they come from miles away. Those bacteria actually in your body, they're going to start to set up and multiply. So eating a lot of sugar, you need to take sugar, refined sugar, out of your diet as much as possible. But sometimes you have certain cravings because you don't have proper nutrients in the body. So your preventative energy, if you eat some of these foods, you actually reduce some of your cravings for sugar. Some of these, you can actually supplement ginseng. Um, if you're eating more fruits and vegetables, you actually have less of a craving for sugars. Now, your, uh, another th aspect of your immune system are chemicals that are found in certain types of mushrooms, like the shiitake and the reishi mushroom. So if you add some of these to your diet, along with garlic, has sulfur in it, it is, they call it Russian penicillin. So if you eat some of these foods, it reduces the um, chance for an infection to take place. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, excuse me.
you want to make sure <coughs> that your preventative energy is working like it's supposed to. So the next one is your cleansing energy. <coughs> in looking at the cleansing energy, the body has to move. We have to move our body in different positions. So if we look at keeping our body healthy, our lymphatic system, our respiratory system, our kidneys, our digestive system, our liver, they're all involved with keeping the body cleansed. So if we work at keeping our body moving from side to side and doing a rotational exercise that stimulates our nervous system, if we were to actually do this for about 30 seconds before you eat, this causes nerve supply to come to vital organs for your digestive system. <clears throat> it allows your body to become healthier and become uh, stronger. Certain things you want to put in your body for cleansing, cranberries, cranberry juice. Different, very dark green vegetables that have a lot of chlorophyll in it are very important for cleansing. If you eat your darker greens, you're going to cleanse the body more and keep the body uh, rid of, of toxins. Certain things you can add to, uh, like oat and oat bran, help cleanse the body also. Making sure that you're breathing in very deep to get the diaphragm opening up, bringing oxygen into the body, <coughs> allowing the, the lymphatic system to uh, start to exhale and expel some of the carbon dioxide, allow the lymph system to move toxins around your body is a great way for cleansing. So you can consciously put nutrients in your body like chlorophyll, eating things like cranberries, um, oat bran. Those are all for cleansing energy. And then breathing differently, getting your body moving before you eat allows your respiratory system to become stronger and healthier. These are very simple things that you can put into your activities throughout the day. We'll summarize a few things when we finish up here, but your fifth one is your cleansing energy. The next one is your healing energy. You want, this is the power of the body to heal or actually replace itself. A lot of people don't realize that your nervous system controls and coordinates all functions of the body. It, it's the first system to develop in your body, and it controls all the the replication when a cell dies off a new one comes in so the nerve supply has to be properly uh, intact if the spine is out of alignment the nerve supply will be shut down if you have a misalignment of the spine the uppermost part of the neck it's going to affect the nerves that go throughout the rest of the body so that's a critical part of the entire nervous system so your healing if your posture is being shut off in your bad position this area is one of the most important levels that your posture and your, uh, your body's in proper balance because that nerve supply has to be wide open. Different um, healing arts, they call this actually God's eye, meaning that the, this has to be wide open for the nerves to be flowing out through out the entire nerve network. If it gets shut off in some way, your body will not heal properly. Now, certain foods that you want to put into your body are melons, your, your honeydew, your cassava, your cantaloupe, different types of melons are very important in your healing energy. Different peppers, peppers, different, what they found is orange, um, some of the orange like uh, bell peppers, carrots, different uh, uh, fruits and vegetables that are orange have healing properties. So you want to replace yourself and the types of proteins found in egg whites are very important for the healing process. So egg whites have a lot of um, nutrients in it. It's better to actually eat the egg whites than the actual uh, yolk itself because the, the source of protein found in egg whites is very good for the healing process. Now, I'm going to use this little analogy of a switch. This is a, like a um, fuse box of your house. So if your body trips the fuse, it's not going to allow the nerve supply. If this went to your washer and dryer or your kitchen lights or the electric stove or the back porch light, and you, and you went and you just changed the light bulb, is that going to allow better energy to come to that area? No, in fact, it still won't work. If you go in and start to tear the washer and dryer apart, is that going to allow that washer to work more effectively? No. You've got to make sure that you go to your fuse box and trip that fuse on for your body to heal properly. If you have decreased nerve supply to different parts of the body, it will never heal properly.